This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A deadly crash closed all lanes of southbound I-75 for several hours this morning at Paddock Road. Police say a car ran into the back of a semi truck just after 4 a.m. The driver of that car was killed. The driver of the semi truck was not injured. The identity of the driver still hasn't been released. Cincinnati police officers are looking for the driver who hit and killed a bicyclist early this morning in College Hill. It happened on West North Bend Road near the intersection of Edwood Avenue. Investigators say the bicyclist was taken to UC Medical Center but passed away a short time later. There's no description of the car or the driver who hit the victim. Police officers say a Cincinnati man has passed away more than five months after someone shot him in South Cumminsville. Investigators say 36 year old Patrick Moore died on Thursday following the early morning shooting on Beekman Street on June 27th. Anyone with information about the shooting is asked to call the CPD homicide unit at 513-352-3542. A Connor Middle School student is now facing felony charges. Investigators say a Boone County Sheriff's Office school resource officer was informed of a student having a notebook and that notebook contained specific acts of violence. They also say that boy admitted to what was inside the notebook and is now in custody in Campbell County. Hey everybody, so if you're heading out to the UC game, actually looking at a really nice day up ahead. First beginning of the game, looking at some 50s later on, some 40s and some low 40s by the time the game is done. So overall looking pretty good. Highs for today will be into the upper 40s, so low 50s for us, but we will uh, see a warm up as we approach our Sunday. Sunday high of 57 and then we dip down as we approach Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday there's a potential for a wintry mix. That's your forecast. Have a good one.